Oikikos, den ties allemaal moos. Onder die oprooi vlees, zelfs een snoepkruis koos. Hallo, how's it? Welcome to my kitchen. This is Poikikos. My name is Ben Kruger and today I'm going to show you how you make buffalo wings in a poiki. Yes, you heard me right. Buffalo wings. Here in Africa we have flying buffalo. And when you manage to shoot one, they're very difficult to shoot down, but when you manage to shoot one, you can feed about 50 people off one buffalo's wing. However, in the rest of the world you don't have flying buffaloes, you only have chickens. And I'm going to show you how to take this chicken wing into something that resembles a buffalo wing. First, we need oil. Onions, chicken wings, Worcester sauce, tomato sauce, it's not ketchup, it's tomato sauce. Chutney, fruit chutney, and a cup of brown sugar. Right, to start with, I'm going to mix the covering for our buffalo wings. Half a cup of Worcester sauce, which goes into this handy little measuring thing of mine, and into the mixing bowl. Next, half a cup of tomato sauce. There we go, half a cup of tomato sauce. That goes into the mix. And then, the most brilliant of all chutneys, made by the inimitable Mrs. Balls. Half a cup of her chutney, if I can get it open, into my measuring cup. There we go. That goes into the mixing bowl. And finally, last but not least, the sugar. A cup. And then you mix. You mix until the sugar starts to dissolve into the liquid. It will have a consistency that's a little bit like baby porridge, and that is exactly what you're looking for. Make sure you get a nice even colour. You don't want it to be all streaky. And that's what you should end up with. Cool. Next thing we do, the chicken wings go in there and they marinate for an hour. Uh, chicken wings have now been marinating for about an hour, so it's time to go to the pot. But this time we're not going outside. The weather is rather unhappy, so I'm going to make this poiki on my stove in a flat bottom pot. This is exactly the same as the other poikis I use, except it's got a flat bottom. It's cast iron, you treat it exactly the same way, but you have the advantage that you can use it on the stove. First in, our oil, then our onion, then the heat, and now we wait until the onions have gone soft and translucent, and then we're going to put in the chicken wings. Don't go away. Buffalo wings in the poiki. It's a very quick and easy standby recipe for those days when all your mates come to your house to watch the big game because you've got the biggest television set of everybody. So, let's taste them. Beginning to end took me half an hour. You know what? Buffalo wings should be eaten by hand. Mmm. Nice and treacly. 
the chicken is very soft and tender. This gives new meaning to finger licking good. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. I'm not going to invite my mates for the big game. I'm going to eat all the chicken wings myself. I really am. Watch me. I may even forget to watch the game. My mother did teach me manners. Cheers, see you next time. For friendly and efficient service for all your shopping and grocery needs, visit us at Pick and Pay Cherry Lane. Boy, because, boy, because, that is all my mores. Unerki of Roy Place, sells a snook as well. Begin je met pet.